Captain Kidd's Crew Experiments with Sinking and Floating by Mark Weekland, illustrated by Troy Cummings. Ahoy, mate, Captain Kidd's me name. Floating and sinking is me game. Pirate captains have to know how and why boats float and anchors sink. So come aboard me ship, the Driftwood. Let's start with gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls all objects towards the center of the Earth. It's pulling on me, you, the ocean water, and these boats, too. So why doesn't gravity pull the driftwood underwater? And why doesn't this rowboat sink like a stone? Um, cause we're held up by invisible sea creatures? Har, it's not invisible sea creatures. It's buoyancy. Buoyancy is the force of a liquid pushing upward. Gravity and buoyancy work against each other. There she blows. That's no whale. It's a log floating in the water. Whether something sinks or floats depends upon its density. Density is the weight of something compared to its size. When an object is denser than the liquid or gas it's in, it sinks. If it's less dense, it floats. Look out below. That cannonball is denser than the seawater. When it hits the water, it'll sink. But the feather is less dense, so it floats. Barnacle Bob's bottle shows density. The cork is full of air pockets. It has low density. So it floats. But the gold coin has high density. It sinks. Captain, are you trying to tell us we're sunk? The coin pushed away water as it sank. The cork also pushed away water, but it floats. We pirates call this displacement. Har, me coin. Never trust a parrot with a cork. Don't look now, but Krusty is taking a bath. Har, tis a terrible sight. Once a year, whether I need it or not. When Krusty sits in the tub, he displaces water. The water's surface rises. The displaced water weighs the same as Krusty. An object floats if it weighs the same as the water it displaces. This is the ship's galley. That's a kitchen, squawk! And this is our cook, Grubs. Grubs knew that a wooden toothpick floats and a silver spoon sinks. It seems like light objects float and heavy objects sink. But heavy ships made of steel float just fine. So why does a giant steel ship float but a small metal spoon sink? It must have to do with more than an object's weight. Grubs folded aluminum foil into a little boat. He also made it into a ball with the same amount of foil. The boat is dense, but it's not dense enough to sink. Shiver me timbers! She's floating! What happens to the foil ball? It sinks! It sinks! The weight of the boat and the ball are the same, but the squish ball is much smaller than the boat. Here's another way to think of it. The tight ball of foil takes up a small amount of space. It has a low volume. It displaces only a small amount of water before it sinks. On the other hand, the foil boat has high volume. It takes up a large amount of space, and it can displace a lot of water to offset its weight. That rowboat is made of wood. So is the driftwood. Ocean liners are made of steel. To find the average density of a ship, you must weigh the ship and everything inside it. This includes pockets of air. Trapped air helps objects float. A heavy steel ship is less dense than the water, so it floats. If we pile a ship full of treasure, the ship becomes denser and heavier. There is a small amount of air trapped inside. It takes on too much treasure and the boat sinks. Har! there's no such thing as too much treasure. Pirates are a bit like ships. Pockets of air in our lungs help us stay afloat. The next time you go swimming, take a big gulp of air. All that air will help you float. 
While floating, breathe out as much air as you can. You'll sink lower in the water. Old Pegleg is loaded down with swords and pistols and jewels. He'll probably sink like a stone. He's too dense, squawk. But if he were wearing a life preserver, Pegleg's density would be less and his buoyancy would increase. Once he gets that preserver on, Pegleg will float like a boat. Density and volume and the forces of buoyancy and gravity combine in many ways. Different objects mean the same objects float and other objects sink. Cannonballs sink. So does a dense ball of foil. Feathers and corks float. So does me trusty driftwood. I'm glad me crew and I are floaters, not sinkers, for there's nothing I'd rather be than a pirate captain floating on a salty sea. Captain Kidd's crew experiments with sinking and floating, 